Today I have something really really special to show you, a card review for the new Hearthstone expansion Night of the Frozen Throne. Without any further ado, let's get right into it and dissect this little baby. Boom! The card is great. 2 mana, draw 2 Morlocks. Very simple and very effective. And I think the card is going to see a lot of play, maybe even is going to be a meta changer. Let me explain why. First of all, how it is, let's say, drawing 2 Morlocks compared with drawing 2 cards. To random cards from your deck. Well, it's only worse in the very late game if and only if you are top decking for little, you are not gonna be able to find the burst to kill your opponent with this. It will only find your Morlocks. But it shines in the mid game and it's still really good in the early game if you don't have anything uh, better to do. If you don't have a 3 mana Morlock, you can play this card and play a 1 mana Morlock. If you don't have a 4 mana Gentle Megazor, you can play this card and either play two one mana Morlocks or a two mana Morlock. And it fits really nicely into your curve. It's very cheap and uh, that I think is a, a big benefit of it. We can compare it with um, a card that is already in the game but doesn't see any play and I will show you why. Sense Demons, first of all, one mana more expensive. That's already a deal breaker. One mana is huge in Hearthstone. We saw cards like Call of the Wild be broken at eight and unplayable at nine mana. And there's plenty of other examples of cards that if you'd make one mana cheaper they would be insane and now they don't see any play. Or they are really good and if you'd made them one mana more expensive they would see no play. And uh, yeah, one mana in Hearthstone a lot. Other than that, Murlocs work really well with each other. They have all these kind of synergies and uh, buffs. Demons? No, they're selfish. They only work well with spells. And um, there are some demon synergies but they're very minimal. Plus, the biggest thing, Warlocks already have a good way of drawing cards. Life Tap is a great hero power, so that's why Sense Demons isn't seeing that much play. For Cardo to see play in Warlock, Cardo has to be insane, like Malkazar Simp. And Sense Demons is not Malkazar Simp. This card, on the other hand, is for Shaman. Shaman doesn't really have the best options for card draw. We saw a, car a quite overpriced card, Ancestral Knowledge, 2 mana, draw 2 cards, overload 2, saw quite some play in Agro Shaman, even though the card is very expensive for what it does. And in a Murloc deck, if you would have the option to play either this card or Ancestral Knowledge, you would play this card every single time of the day. And um, now the question is going to be, do you want to play this card over Mana Tide and kick out some Totem Synergies? Or do you want to play this card and Mana Tide and bring Murlocs with Totems together, maybe even play the Pirate Package? We'll get into that later. Let me first... Um, look at uh, the first thing that people are going to consider when um, they think about this card. Quest Shaman. Is it going to make it work? Probably not. I don't think Quest Shaman is going to be good because for the same reason as the Hunter Quest, you need to play the quest on turn 1. And you do that in a deck that wants to control the board. It's very hard to control the board if you use your first turn to play a quest and they play a minion, then you play a minion when they already have two minions and that's just overwhelming and it's probably not going to work and uh, you're gonna be one step behind and they're gonna just beat you. In a more controlled meta game where people don't have one drops maybe Quest Shaman is going to work but I doubt it. Where I think this card is going to shine and be the star is an aggro shaman or maybe a more mid-range shaman is going to be born the same way as mid-range paladin was born with the last expansion with Angoro People never expected mid-range Morlock Paladin to be played. They would call you crazy if you said that that is going to be true in Angoro. But we saw it was one of the most dominant decks. And I think similar with Paladin, mainly of this because of this card, but also because of the other Shaman cards that they might get. We saw a couple days ago, we got a 2 mana 2 to that freezes something that is a Morlock, similar to the um, Ice Shard. Ice, I, I forgot the name of the card, uh, the card that you played in Quest Rogue, that phrases something. Similar to that, but it's 2 mana, has a 2 to body, and is a Murloc. So, if we get some more cards like this, Midian Shaman is definitely going to work, especially because you have cards like Hex. You still have cards like Fiend from below in the game. You can play the Totem Package with Primal Fiend, which summons Murlocs, uh, and then Flame Tongue, which is like the best card in Shaman. Uh, maybe Mana Tide if you want extra card draw. And then you can also play... Pirate Package, because it's very cheap, you need to only play 3 cards, the Cultists and um, actually the Corsair, sorry, the Bloodsaid Corsair, and uh, the Patches, the Pirate, 
And you can also play the Murloc package with uh, the cargo from this card. So I really feel an aggro-ish type of Murloc uh, Shaman. You can already build with the cards that we saw so far. If we get even more cards, you can maybe even bring some uh, Midlinge cards into the mix. Or maybe build a Midlinge Shaman deck with this card. Anyways, I just think this card is bonkers, is great. And I'm really looking forward to see more cards from this expansion. And I'm looking forward for, to play with the expansion because I'm just really hyped. Angoro was super good expansion. And if this expansion is as good as Angoro, Hearthstone might even become the greatest card game ever. Definitely the greatest card game of um, the internet age. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am for a new expansion. This was RDU. See ya.